Right, sorry for the absence, it's been moving and lots of stuff. But anyway, we're going to have video bonanza in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, today's video is all about the national champs in the UK. Now, I'd say it's probably one of the most like high tech in terms of like aero wise uh, national champs in the world. Denmark is probably rivaled and a couple of other countries are close. But the UK, massive time trial scene, a lot of amateurs here, a lot of pros. And it's kind of interesting seeing what people ride. So we're going to go through each vid uh, one by one. So this is all bare bike, decently nice, aero coach extensions, massive gap between the handlebars. If you are on this vid and I, uh, you know, chat shit, no hard feelings, just, you know, what I see. Skin suit, long sleeve, looks okay fitting, but yeah, position not not perfect, but you can see even like at this level, like obviously amateur guy, like pretty, pretty dialed setup in terms of a lot of money being spent. This one far better. I'm not really sure who this rider is, but this looks very slick. Um, Ekoi helmet. Uh, this could be Charlie Tanfield's or Toby Tanfield, one of them two, because Ekoi helmet, no one buys that from Quebec. Again, Michelin Power competition tires, nice. Vortec hub skin suit. I need to hurry up, otherwise I'm gonna be here all day. Um, again, this is Alex Pritchard, one of the the watch shop boys. Again, Michelin pa uh, power competition tires. These I think are the time trial ones, not the newest ones. One by obviously, um, but yeah, decent decent position. Integrated bar and stem combos. Sorry, three D custom printed stuff. Um, again, this lad on the Trinity. A lot of Trinities rolling around in the UK. Um, again, kind of not the most. Uh, Complicated setup, but again, angled arm rests, all the rest of it. So pretty, pretty decent. Um, you can see more more people looking looking decent positions. Uh, nothing's crazy. Uh, train chart boy again on a giant Trinity. Those are very popular. Drag to zero extensions again. So it's kind of interesting to see what people run. Some gloves, so some no gloves. This Ollie Hux, I'm pretty sure. Again, the big thing is these overshoes. Everyone in the UK runs the Spats ones now. I don't know why I've got the pair. They are quite good, but everyone just loves them. Um, and a lot of trinities around. I'd say that's the other thing to kind of notice. Um, more trinities. Um, I think this is Charlie Tanfield, I reckon. Um, on, yeah, again, massively deep front section wheel. Um, unfortunately, everyone, you can't really see because it's all on the one by life. Um, but yeah, again, Argon 18, this is Nathan Smith. Actually, pretty interesting. Use the POC helmet. Um, arms could definitely do with changing those angles. So actually higher up. Um, front wheel, not mega deep either. So probably not, not the best. Again, Richardson track guy, not sure who this is. Decent flow disc, apparently that's slow, so oil for that. But apart from that, looks looks all right. Um, I want to get on some world tour guys because these are kind of like people were seeing. Oh, Lewis Askey. I reckon he does a million watts, but his position is terrible. Um, the Jalbo helmet, I'm not really sure he's doing much. It looks like really short, but then quite stubby. Um, he the FTJ will have custom bar and stems, but again, it doesn't look like they're really doing much uh, for him. I think he definitely needs to have this raised up a little bit, maybe a little bit longer and a, a higher angle. Not sure what category and UCI thing he is. Um, Alley over shoes look quite nice. They're supposed to be decently quick. Um, and again, like you can see, front wheel could be deeper. Uh, tires should be Continental TT, so not too bad. Lapierre frame, I reckon it's not terrible. I reckon frames these days, not massive difference between them. This lad not looking as good as he was on the first time. Um, again, disposition, disposition, but um, I want to get through to some more world tour guys. Um, again, Charlie Tamfield, obviously strong because uh, he is good on the track. Um, and again, more and more people, which we've seen already. Um, hopefully, I'm not sure exactly how these photos are done, to be honest. I hope this is like all of them. Um, but we, ah, oh, here we go. First couple of Ineos boys. So this, I believe, is Connor Swift. Uh, yeah, it could be just darling. I'm not actually sure. No, it's Connor Swift, I can see here. Again, in your setup, very nice. Princeton Carbon Works over ring. They're running 64 tooths, is what I got told. Um, that's what Josh Tarling said in his interview, he's running 64 tooth, which is kind of interesting. Um, again, no inner ring, no front derailleur. They're using K-Edge um, mount for, sorry, not mount, chain catcher, which is interesting. And it's something I've noticed more and more. Everyone's going one by. I really think people are starting to it notice that you just can't now SRAM it's more coming available but like wow that's just a game we have to have we're on Shimano and Shimano don't want to make one by that's fine but we're just going to have a one by um single ring and then put a chain catcher on so it doesn't fly off I don't think you need a chain catcher up my chains have never fallen off but on a one by but apparently they do skateboard grip tape none of the yumbo fishing tape again any else don't seem to be on the uh integrated bar and stem this year I don't know why normally they do like uh, early on the season they use this and then they move off onto um, custom bars, but I don't really know why. 
again by Rosa Kit. So pretty decent. Um, you can see here. Uh, back to Zeb. Who, to be fair, actually, let's go have a look. Looks like he's cut himself here. Not the best position I've seen. I think the boy didn't have the best day out around. But um, yeah, um, for sure, it's kind of hard to tell what the position. Oh yeah, here is Charlie Tanfield. Actually, I don't know who the other St. Pyramid lad was. Some Randy. Um, but yeah, pretty decent position. He came top five. So pretty mega performance from him. Uh, keep going through. You can see everyone's. I think this Oli Peckover is pretty decent position. Here's Josh Tarling who won it. I reckon he must have done a lot of watts. Connor Swift did like 400 watts and he put a minute into him. Again, position, like, I don't think is probably as, like, tucked as he can be. He probably has his head down there. But, again, it's, like, quite low at the front end, not crazy amount of spaces. Um, again, sort of standard in your stuff. Um, and then we got kind of just want to look, have a look at Fred Wright. And then, all right, there's Corzone. Um, Charlie Cortman, again, Rule 28 overshoes, Corotech bike. No one knows how good that is. Looks like a single ring. Um, I don't think it looks like the one-by-one one because that's hollow. Um, sorry, yeah, and then the custom bars, it's not looking great. Um, he used to be quite good at time trials when he was like under 23. I reckon having Corotech and Ursus as sponsors is not helping him. So not the best performance from the old man. Um, like position's okay. It's just not, it's not unreal. Uh, this is some Randy bloke. Again, looks, looks like he's tough. This is Ethan Vernon. Again, always has a very nice position on the track. Again, you can see here, one by um oh no actually no he does have two by you can see just there he does actually have two by which is kind of kind of wild on a course like this you can see his front mech just behind there castelli overshoes roval he doesn't get the remco treatment having the super deep front wheel but again he did a pretty solid performance as well i think he finished fourth um but yeah or maybe that maybe it actually was uh but yeah the uh, little sock thing not wearing it but does have the error helmet from specializing on that tax bottle cage so decent Decent position. Um, I just want to see. We're almost done. This is John Archbold again, Mr. Mega Aero, 100 mil front wheel, uh, nice disc, uh, one by wax chain for sure. Uh, nice pock, which you don't see too much. But yeah, again, a classic, a classic UK time trial position um, that we see. Uh, more of some other St. Perrin boys who we just need to hop through because we've already seen them. This is Fred Wright, sunglasses, rogue, vision bar and stem, decent. Deep front wheel, I think it's an 88, that one. Uh, he's running, I'm pretty sure, you can see front derailleur there, so I'm pretty sure he's running two by as well, which is kind of a shame for the big man, but he was a minute off, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, again, not bad position, I reckon, when he gets his head down. It's pretty outrageous. I think the only person we're really waiting for after this is Dan Bigham, um, who will come back around. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, here we go, here's Dan Bigham. So again, on a Cervelo P5, I'm pretty sure, rim brake, tri-spoke, disc, one by watch shop extensions, uh, cask, mistral, I'm pretty sure that is. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty standard stuff. So that's basically it from the men's. Pretty interesting to see what people are doing. Um, again, buy racer overshoes from Ineos, but he's wearing his own hoop skin suit. Right, so we've got Alan Backstead. We'll try and see if there's a bit more, a bit more content. So there's 5 e Georgie. Again, mega position. Um, there's not really much more to say. Some web just standard Shimano content, uh, nothing more really to see. Decently deep front wheel, to be fair, probably not a standard Shimano. Um, everything else, nice bar and stem. That's a new Scott Plasma, which I did a video about recently. Um, again, the guy's taking a million photos. Uh, there's again, another like decent position, pretty low, to be honest, Colnago. Don't see that too often, the rim brake one. Don't really know um, exactly. There's Dane Sarah Story, Boardman bike, integrated, like, um, Nice custom handlebars and all the rest of it. Pretty decent. Um, she's been on the board for some time. Casimir Strauf, gold helmet. Anna Henderson, always on the Yumbo train. You can see looking pretty aero. But Lizzie Holden behind on the UAE setup. And again, pretty very good position, I'd say. Narrow shoulders. Helmet looks like it fits well. Um, so yeah, pretty strong position. Anna Henderson won last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, not that position is just pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Um, you're not really going to beat it too much i'm not sure if she's on the new the new colnago uh it looks like oh uh, is it i can't really tell from here actually if it's ah uh, yeah i think it is the new colnago um couple i must have had a bike a mechanical or something big oil um going to go through positions again like what you can see like no overshoes here not deep front wheel all the rest of it kind of disaster to be honest aero wise um not a terrible position here um 
again, Giant Trinity, uh, head down, not too bad. Lenticular disc wheel, rotopalmia, standard stuff. Um, again, kind of just like, not too much to criticize here. Probably just exposed cables, but like budget is, but what, what it is. Um, no one's kind of got radical stuff at the moment. This is all looks pretty, pretty standard yet to see anything like too exciting. Pock, wild pock flies out. Um, again, like an older rim rate canyon, um, kind of one by. Um, I just want to see some of the world tour people because to be honest, uh, skipping through this, there's nothing too revolutionary on any of this, but I'm not sure when the world tour riders will come up. Just interesting to see kind of how the women's is different to the men's, but pretty similar to be honest, like very slight, like different budget, but more or less um, everyone's in the UK knows what you need to do. Uh, that's Hayley Simmons, who's won a lot of time trials. Um, she was national champ, uh, as you can see from her kit. Again, like not the deepest front wheel. I thought it'd be deeper with Aero Coach. She's running an inner ring. That pr pretty sure that's an inner ring. Rogue is a mega fast course. Overshoes, obviously. Disc wheel is uh, Aero Coach. Aero Coach handlebars as well. She looks like she's got the Roglic issue. That helmet looks mega, mega high. I guess the thing is when you've got your head down, you can then see through it. So you actually wear your helmet kind of wrong. And it does help. Speed blades as well. Helps reduce stack height, which is always mega. Um, pictures of cars. And then um, this could be a long video, to be honest. There's Katie Archibald looking pretty aero as well. Very low position. Quite an old school position, one, one could say. Um, looks like courses on it. Um, again, tyres are reckon course of speed. So it's just GB5000 deep time trials. Not a massive difference compared to what it used to be. Um, and it looks like we're going back in circles. I think we may not be able to see any of the world tour riders, unfortunately. But anyway, I think all in all, you can kind of see UK scenes, pretty people are pretty dialed on it. Um, you know, pretty focused on the one by, pretty focused on just like narrow positions, interesting how much choices from everyone as well, a couple of pox. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting to see. 64 tooth, biggest chain ring I think I've ever seen in the time trial. I reckon it makes a lot of sense. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Dude.